Kollegin, mir liegen keine spontanen Wortmeldungen vor. Das heißt, wir kommen sofort zu Herrn Vizepräsidenten Sefcovic. Bitte schön, Sie haben das Wort für eine Erwiderung. Danke schön, Madam President, uh, honorable members. First and foremost, allow me to express my gratitude for the support you expressed for the Windsor Framework, for all the kind words uh, uh, to the teams, to, to myself, and I just uh, cannot uh, underscore how important it was to feel the support of this House, to be absolutely uh, clear that uh, we have a uh, unified European support of all the institutional member states, uh, the pursuing of the best possible solution in the negotiation uh, with the UK, and uh, to be able to contact you, to be in touch with you, and also to share with you the negative and positive news, because we had them quite a lot uh, over the last uh, two years. But I think that uh, today we are all referring to very important achievement uh, which is uh, represented in the Windsor uh, framework. But before I will get uh, uh, to that, I just would like to respond uh, uh, for the, one of the first uh, interventions we heard today of Mr. Yar and Madame Hubner because it concerns uh, our citizens. And I know how their rights are important to you and I'd like to uh, assure you that they are very, very important uh, for us as well. So to make clear that if it comes to the issue of uh, pre-settled to settled uh, status, uh, it was uh, rightly pointed out that the UK High Court has ruled that this formality was uh, unlawful. And the Commission, as you know, has joined these proceedings uh, next to the UK Independent Monitoring Authority. And the good news is that the UK Home, was, home Office will not appeal this decision and will implement uh, the ruling, as uh, Madame Hübner just said. And I think this is the good news, but uh, we know that there are still some issues uh, which needs our vigilant uh, approach. We will have it, and uh, I can assure you that for us, the rights of our citizens will always remain priority. Several honorable members have been uh, referring that this new way forward in the frame of uh, new Windsor framework will allow us to open new chapter in our EU-UK relationship. And that this would be a relationship which will be based on mutual trust, as it was expressed by Madame Reitke, but also uh, Madame Loazo. And I believe that uh, this relationship uh, uh, will be driven by cooperation, which is uh, so rightfully important uh, for such a two important neighbors, partners, allies, and uh, uh, trade uh, partners as well. And uh, I think that uh, through this uh, common approach and through that uh, new way of uh, resolving uh, the issues, we are creating new opportunities and I hope uh, the prosperous uh, further future also for Northern Ireland uh, because we've been working very hard uh, on how we can even improve and make stronger involvement of the Northern Ireland stakeholders in the dealings uh, of uh, the protocol. I think that from the last year of uh, getting familiar with the day-to-day -day issues, uh, understanding uh, better the uh, demands, the problems, the issues which need to be solved, been very helpful for the last uh, very important chapters uh, of uh, these negotiations. And I believe uh, that through the close cooperation with the UK government, we found the right responses uh, uh, to these issues. And I believe that this new approach, the joint solution and this close cooperation will guide us well also when we will be discussing new areas of the future uh, cooperation. Mr. Sean Kelly, Mr. Bourgeois, Mr. Lange, uh, Madame Kovasi just highlighted some of the areas where uh, close allies uh, and good neighbors uh, should go and uh, we would of course uh, explore all of them. I would like to thank Madame uh, Cavazzini for highlighting the importance um, of uh, the Windsor framework, but also for underscoring the importance of the single market and the fact that what we did was uh, to look for the new modern technology for data sharing, for possibility uh, of uh, uh, remote checks to really uh, look for out-of-box solutions which would uh, guarantee from one side uh, 
the integrity of the single market and from other sides uh, would do it uh, in efficient way. And I believe that uh, we have uh, achieved that. So to conclude, once again, I would like to uh, thank all the colleagues uh, in, in the House for the close cooperation, for their support. I would like to thank Mr. Pereira uh, for his report. And of course, uh, our relationship uh, with the United Kingdom is massive. So I'm sure there will be uh, a lot of issues to talk about. Uh, there will be uh, a lot of uh, discussions we'll have about uh, uh, the future cooperation, and I'm very much looking forward to it. But thank you very much uh, for all your supportive remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Herr Vizepräsident. And as letztes has the word noch einmal der Berichterstatter, Herr Silva Pereira. Bitte schön. Thank you, Chair, and thank you, colleagues, for your support and uh, to the shadow rapporteurs for their cooperation. Uh, despite the continuous resentment of some aerosetics here and radical Brexiteers in the other side of the channel, the positive tone of this debate shows that for this parliament, time is uh, come for cooperation, not confrontation. Building on our common history and uh, on our common values, we must be able to build with the UK a strong uh, partnership to meet the common challenges we face from the war in Ukraine, the related challenges on defense, security, and uh, geopolitical issues, uh, the energy crisis, the supply chain disruptions, climate change, migration, you name it. The, Confrontation against the EU is not only dangerous for the stability in Northern Ireland, it is also simply absurd from the point of view of our common economic interests. So I hope that in the near future, we can talk a little bit more about the trade and cooperation agreement and a bit, a bit less about the withdrawal uh, agreement. For that to happen, of course, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has to secure sufficient political support in the UK and probably also in Northern Ireland. But one thing is certain, this is a great opportunity. It cannot be wasted. Thank you. Ganz herzlichen Dank, Herr Vizepräsident Silva Pereira.